What's up, guys? Welcome to another Scratch tutorial. Um, this is part two on how to make a Wall Dash game in Scratch. If you haven't seen part one yet, links are in the description. Anyways, in this, in this, um, video, we'll be looking at how to be adding spikes on the walls and death. So, without further ado, let's get started. So here is the code from last time and first to add the spikes we need to create a new sprite. So create a new sprite call this spikes. And we are going I am going to make a spike and it's going to be a red spike. And what this spike is going to look like is one spike is going to be left and one spike is going to be right. So you could make a triangle center that so let's name this costume it's pointing right so we'll name it right and duplicate and this one will be pointing left so select it and say flip horizontal and center it so we don't want the spikes to show we want it to create clones so when the green flag is clicked we say forever wait once pick random one to two seconds create a clone of myself and we can we have to make the spikes to spawn on different walls so we're going to make a variable we're going to make a variable called type and make sure to select for the sprite only and then cl click ok so we're going to set type to let's say zero and we need to before it switches before it creates the clone we want it to switch costume to pick random one to two which is basically pick random right or left so we're going to get an if statement i'm going to say if our costume number is equal to one which is right we're going to set type to right and duplicate and change the we will drag that out and change this to two and set type to left and I misspelled right so let me fix that so we're going to get a when I start as a clone and we're going to say get a if statement I'm going to say if type is equal to right, um, we're going to switch costume to right. And then we're going to duplicate that and change this to left. And we're going to switch costume to left. And when it switch costume to left, and right now it is the costume left, when it switches costume to right, I mean left, we want it to go over here. So we're gonna, we're gonna set X to 149. And duplicate, and change this to negative 149. And then we're gonna get a repeat until loop. I'm going to repeat until our y position is equal to right now it's negative it's 183 so we're going to repeat until y position is equal to 183 and we're going to change y by 3 and we're going to delete this clone so we te and uh we need to put a hide here and put a show over here. Hmm. So right now it's not showing for some reason. And... Oh, that's because we need to spawn the spikes at the bottom. So... We're going to set Y, 
set y with to negative 184. So now the spike should be spawning like that. So now we need to make it so that the player will die once it touches the spike. So I'm going to get an if statement. I'm going to say if touching spikes, we're going to go to control and stop all. This just stops the project. So see if you touch it and you will die. And let's hide all the variables like that. So this is the end of this series. We have finally made our wall dash game. And yeah, so, um, <clears throat> wait, there was a problem, wait. I just saw like a spike that, that what if it touches the top, the top, it won't disappear. Yeah, that's a bug that we need to fix. So repeat until y position is equal to 183, and we're going to change y by 3 and delete this clone. It's not working because it passed, it passed 183. The y position passed 183. So we're going to check if y position is greater than 183 too. So if we run it now. The spikes will disappear and another thing we need to add is that if it touches the bottom the the player should die so like if touching spikes or if our like y position is equal to right our, our y position is let's say greater because we might have the same problem so y position is greater than negative 188. We're going to stop all. So if we run it now. Oh, it's not negative 188. It needs to be a less than. So that's why the that's why the prop the the project is not running and not working. So if we reach the bottom, the game stops. So that's exactly what we want. So I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next Crash tutorial. Peace out.